Hi, Miss Spiewak. Um, today I'll be showing you how to play Clash Royale. So step number one is go to the App Store and download Clash Royale and then open it when it is done. Next step is opening the app once it's done downloading. Step number three is to play the tutorial that it prompts you into once you launch the app. It's pretty easy and it takes like a couple minutes to do. Congratulations on passing step number three, you beat the tutorial. Now, once you're in the app, step number four is to navigate the app and learn what everything does. This is your Supercell ID page, which you need to make in the beginning of your uh, Clash Royale journey. This page is the item shop of the day. There's the daily fortune, which changes every day, which is just a chest that you can buy with gems. Then there's all the actual in-app purchases of basically the battle pass, which is as you progress, you get free stuff. Um, then there's the trader, which you can trade trade tokens for different cards. Then there's Epic Sunday, which every Sunday you get free epic cards. And there's emotes that you can buy for gems and chests for gems. And then more in-app purchases. And then gold purchases. These are your deck of cards that you can change. And it's going to look like this for you in the beginning of the, uh, your game. You're going to have to make a deck with the cards that you get from chests. And you get chests from uh, winning games and then you unlock new cards. Right now I'm just making a basic deck just to show you an example real quick. So once you've made your deck, this is what you're going to be able to use in the game. If you ever don't know what a card does, you can click on it and then press info and it'll give you a little video. Right here is the stats of your card. And then on the next page, it just gives you a little description of what that card does. And then certain cards have evolutions, which basically the more you play them in the game, the stronger they get. Here are your emotes. You can get emotes from item shops and the battle pass. Here are your tower skins. You can get these from the item shop and battle passes as well. Right here are your magic items. You can use different magic items for various reasons. The wild cards are the best ones as you can just pick cards to give points to to upgrade them. And that's for any rarity. So there's five rarities in this game. Common, rare, epic, legendary, and champion. Now, a better rarity doesn't necessarily mean a better card. It just means there's a lower chance of getting that card in the chest to be able to upgrade it. These are your banner decorations. These are the main backgrounds. These are the background colors. And this is what it looks like. And if you go to the main page, you can see your whole profile, including your banner. And then you can change it from here as well. There's different badges you can get from achievements. This is the friends page where you can add friends if you have any other people that play Clash Royale. This is the news tab up in the top right corner. It shows you any new YouTube videos they post, any news or any live events. On the bottom of the screen, that's where your chests will go. You get chests from winning games. In the middle of the screen, that is where you go to ready up for games. This is what people refer to as the ladder. This is where you journey to get better cards and then unlock new arenas to battle people in the higher you go on the ladder the harder the people are to fight and then here i'll show you me fighting with my personal deck that i like to use i'm just now turning on the audio i didn't realize that it was in the previous clips but here's a here's a uh a video of me playing a game here's what it's like this is step six is to load into the game and then pretty much just Combat the other person with cards that can counter theirs. Your goal is to destroy at least one of their towers with taking minimal damage to your towers. In the end, once the timer runs out, whoever has more towers defeated of the other person wins. And if you have the same amount of towers destroyed at the end of the game, it goes into sudden death, which the first person to destroy one more tower wins the game.
So as this game comes to an end, as you'll see, I destroyed all three of his, of his towers without him destroying any of mine. I got three crowns for that. And then as you can see, I got 31 trophies, a chest, and some coins. So as you can see, the chest went to the bottom of my screen where the chest collects for me to open them. And then on the ladder, I unlocked some gems as that was the next thing in my progression. And then it also prompts you to collect your reward from the battle pass that you can get. Um, over here are the clans, which you can join if you have a group of friends that want to play Clash Royale with you. And then over here is the special events tab, where each week there's a new event that you can play for a different currency to unlock special items. This week's event is called Go Sparky Go. So basically, step six would be to, after you play the game, collect all your rewards. At the top of the screen is all your currency. On the top left is your level with your experience. In the middle is your coins. And then on the right is your gems. So in conclusion, step one is download the game. Step two is open the game. Step three is play the tutorial. Step four is learn to navigate the user interface. Step five is play the game and win. And then step six is collect the reward.